Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to take a look at responsive email templates, and we're going to be doing a newsletter template for Magento, so we can take advantage of the newsletter function within Magento here. So by default, Magento even throws a little block at the bottom of your page, allowing users to sign up for your newsletter. I think I might have turned this off already, but either way, uh, there's a block to allow you to sign up for a newsletter. Well, you may have either turned this off like I have, or you left it on and had some people, if your site's live, you might have had some people sign up for your newsletter, and then they would have turned onto this newsletter subscribers list. In fact, it looks like here's me, a couple of my emails, and John Doe at example.com are three subscribers to this newsletter. So that's pretty cool. So let's talk about newsletter templates. The way this works is you're going to create a newsletter template in here. You're going to add a new template. Um, and in this template, you're going to put your HTML code here, and you're going to put your CSS here. You're going to give your template a name, a subject, a sender, from, and to email. And you're not going to fill in the exact content that you want this newsletter to go out with. This is just a template. So you can put your lorem ipsum text or you can put just like blank content into this template. And then once uh, we have this in, in the second part of this tutorial, we'll go over the newsletter queue and everything like that and how you can then put your actual content. This way you could make a template once and reuse it, reuse it, reuse it, and just change out the content month to month. So to get a template for our uh, HTML email. I'm actually going to be using a responsive email template from Zurb. So this is zurb.com slash playground slash responsive email templates. And this link will be uh, in the comments of the video or the uh, additional information in the video. And you can just go through and see which layout you like. You can even uh, check out uh, demos. Here's a preview of one of them. And the cool thing about these templates is they're built to be responsive already, just like your site. So it's going to look good on a phone. It's going to look good on a desktop. Well, as good as an HTML email can look. And so the thing about HTML email is different clients support HTML email in all sorts of different ways. And you can use a countless amount of services to test what those are going to look like. Um, so that's why using a boilerplate like the Zurb HTML email uh, template is good because you know they've tested it and it's gonna look as good as it can. Um, just as long as you don't go changing it a ton, it's, it's gonna look pretty good. So pick whichever layout fits your optimal layout and then we can edit it from there, okay? So let's come back to here and there's a couple of different ones. I'm actually gonna pick this newsletter template, this one. Um, actually, this might've been one we just had open, I can't remember, but uh, as you can see, it's sort of adjust, clickety-click, all this stuff. Um, and there's even Facebook links and all this stuff. It looks great. So let's come back to this page, and I'm just going to straight up download this. Click the download button, and it's going to give me a zip file. And I'm going to throw that on my desktop. And you actually have to bear with me here. Uh, I recently just absolutely crashed my computer, so um, I'm starting fresh, and everything is sort of out of out of sorts. So in this newsletter template, I've given you a newsletter.html and your style sheets. So it looks like it's just email.css. I'm going to throw this into my sublime text. I'm going to throw this newsletter into my sublime text as well. Yeah, see, this is even telling me my sublime text is unregistered. So I, it's pretty clear I have a lot of work to do to get this computer back up to running. So if there's any wonkiness or weird things, uh, I can just blame it on that. Uh, so check this out. So we have our CSS and we have our newsletter template. Cool, let's open this up in our browser and then we can see the edits that we make live when we refresh. Um, I'm just gonna grab this newsletter.html right, right here in Chrome. Oh, it has my name here. Okay, so cool, so here's our template. I'm gonna uh, shrink that down in size a little bit. And you can notice some things about this. We have a body with a background color of white. Um, this is some stuff you might want to, you know, if you wanted this to be black or something. Um, in our instance, I think white is fine. And for the header, we want this header to be the uh, level up tuts purple. So I'm actually going to um, go right from our homepage and grab this purple color. 
because I actually don't have this hex value memorized by now. Okay, I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna throw it in here, and I'm gonna save this, refresh. Okay, so you can see it's just it's just this little bit right here. So we have more things to change. In fact, the uh, I think it's right here. Cool. So now that's purple up top here. You might be wondering where this text uh, header text is. This color might be in the uh, CSS. I actually haven't used this Zurb uh, template in production before, but it looks really good. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find it um, under exactly what it is. So this just says newsletter, it's an H6. I'm gonna see where this is getting this right here. We can go down and we can see exactly where it's getting the color. It's getting it from the line 117, uh, 117. Here we are, it's giving it this color here. I'm just gonna go straight up white on this. I'm gonna refresh this. Okay, looking better. I'm gonna replace this with our logo because, uh, you know, that's what we want there. So let's go to our newsletter.html and notice how it's giving it an HTTP. Uh, you know, it's actually linking to this placeholder that uh, a website that's gonna give you a fake placeholder image. I'm actually going to wait until I get it into Magento to change this link right here. Uh, you'll see why in a second, we're gonna be using Magento's image adding to do that. And you know what, it, same thing with any of these images. And this text is all pretty good. Uh, only thing is here, I wanna change some of these buttons, these uh, clickety click buttons. I'm gonna change these to be purple just to sort of match our, our level up touch theme a little bit. Okay, now I can probably see things. Okay, so I'm looking for uh, these are media queries, by the way. I'm looking for another BTN. BTN, okay. And it has this background color here. I'm gonna change this to be the purple as well. As you can see, I'm not doing a whole ton of crazy stuff with this template. It's pretty much like it as is. And uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna throw it into our Magento. So let's just straight up, I'm just gonna do uh, command all and copy all of the CSS. And down here in our Magento site, under template styles, I'm gonna paste that in there. And then uh, I'm gonna click show hide editor. So this will give me the HTML, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna grab all of this newsletter code, every last bit of it, and paste it into here. And this is going to be main level up email. Hello from I can't, okay, level up, okay. And send your name, it's gonna be Scott. And it's gonna be my email. Okay, so now that we have all this stuff, we can actually click preview and it's gonna generate a preview here for us. Looking good. You notice it looks the exact same. Don't mind these lines through it. It's just sort of something that happens from scrolling in there. Uh, preview, but even if we shrink this down, it shrinks down perfectly just like we want it. Great, perfect. Okay, so let's close that. And now that we know that our template's gonna look good, let's click Save Template. Okay, so we now have a email template. In the second part of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take this template and set up a newsletter queue and have this newsletter go out to all of your customers. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. As always, uh, this is Scott, and thanks for watching.